told to me. Like I had a guy tell me I walked in and he had dementia. So we're going to cut him some slack. Mm-hmm. But the day before he told me he was born and raised in Idaho. So we were working on like cognitive sort of therapy, trying to help like work on recall and stuff. And so he had told me he was raised like on a potato farm. So I go in the next day and I said, um, oh, Mr. So-and-so, you know, how was it when you were a kid working on the potato farm? He was, he just gave me this evil look. And he was like, how do you know that? And I said, well, yesterday we talked about it. You remember? And of course, he, he didn't remember. He had right. dementia. And then he goes, where are you from? And I said, oh, I'm from Texas. He goes, I know where you're from. You're brought, you were brought here on a rope and chain. And I was, I was. I was, I didn't know what to say. And I was just like, actually, no, I'm from Texas. <laughs> I'm from Texas. And and at the time, my supervisor wasn't in the room. And so when she came in the room, she was like, how's it going? She's like, and, and I was like, well, apparently I was brought here on a rope and chain. And she was just like, seriously, Lauren, he said that to you? And I was like, yeah. And then I like excused myself. But those are the kind of things that I dealt with in grad school, just dealing with the patients that I were. I know you can't even believe this right now, but that's great. <laughs> 